here's the thing. Someone is obsessed with you and we're going to find out why. <laughs> okay. We're going to just take a little road trip to why they're so obsessed with you. Welcome to the Lucy Mia channel. <laughs> yeah. Um, welcome to the Lucy Mia channel. And welcome to this, to whom it may concern, reading of why they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you because, number one, I mean, there's so many reasons. I don't even know where to start! Aha! With the hermit in the reverse! Listen, they're obsessed with you because, like, listen, everybody's been through some stuff at some point in their life, right? Like, at some point in our lives, like, we go through certain things. This person has been through certain things in their life. It could be due to, like, relationships, definitely, right? Like, for sure. But also it could be lack of relationship. And I feel that is actually the same energy. It could be that they've been in relationships that didn't feel as good as they feel with you or in juxtaposition to how that relationship has been in the most recent energies. It just feels so much better with you. Um... With this Ten of Swords, we have the Sun, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Ace of Cups. Hello, they're obsessed. This Ten of Swords came out first, and this is, like, the base energy of why they're so obsessed with you. They're so obsessed with you because of where they're coming from and some of their, like, unmet desires in their life. And they see that you have those desires desires like you can meet those desires a relationship with you will fulfill those desires and that's where that obsession comes from and truly that is the crux of obsession when we're obsessed with something or someone we believe that they have the answer we've given them and put them in this energy where they will heal us they will cure us they are the thing that we're looking for with this person with ten of swords there was some type of betrayal in their past that they've experienced i think this person also may have like prayed or asked for like god or the universe or like whomever and manifested someone who could make this better who could take this pain away and then you came along offering them a cup of love i think you did offer this person kindness sweetness um, lovingness, like whatever that is, you offered them emotion and you did it at a time when they needed it, when they had been wanting it and craving it. And they then believed that you were the answer. You were the source of their cup of love. You were their source of like feeling good. So that's a crazy powerful combination. This person... <laughs> Also, through some self-reflection, whether that self-reflection went through, I don't know, because sometimes it really do be doing its own thing, baby. There is some self-reflection that this person went through, and I think they're obsessed with you because you allow them to, it really depends on where you're at in this obsession stage, right? But you allow them to escape their self-reflection and then you also allow them to you also force them to because if you're running away from this person that's obsessed with you right like you you're like i don't want this person the folk them being focused on you aka obsessed with you is almost like an out they would rather be obsessed with you and putting their energy there than working on themselves and resurrecting into the things they need to move through to to move through over what has happened with them in their past, what they've accepted, what they've done, what they haven't done, just like who they've been, right? Like you are a great distraction. You're an amazing distraction. But also it's just easier for them to focus on getting someone than getting themselves together. For all those of you if this is somebody that like you're into and you're like they're so obsessed with me that as well like it's easier for them to be obsessed with you and go towards pursuing you and you and you than dealing with their bullshit but also simultaneously it forces them to deal with their stuff because either way even with the previous one like where they're obsessed with you and you don't want them they still want they're still sort of like you not wanting them 
kind of pushes them back into this energy of no, look at yourself, no, look at yourself, no, look at yourself. Um, whether or not they take it, it really depends on the person, to be honest. I am picking up people who aren't taking it and continuously focusing on you. Others who may take it in the future, hopefully. And others who do take it and go, okay, the Lumi doesn't want me. You're a Lumi, by the way. Welcome to the house of Lumiere, the Lumination. The Lumi doesn't want me. Like, what is it about me that I can change to prove to the Lumi that I, I, I can, I can blah, 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 blah them. Um, and if this is someone that like you're with, and you're like, oh my god, this is my person, Lose. Yes, they're obsessed with me. Yes. Or you're trying to manifest that through this reading, which you absolutely can. The person is obsessed with you. And you, be, being who you are, a stabler force, a more stable force, you force them energetically to rise to the occasion to be better because you're better in that you show up cognizant. You show up well you show up stronger at least in comparison to what their perception is but also it's always just infinitely easier to sort of focus on someone than self um that's how obsession kind of works but i feel like in that sort of roundabout way especially if you're with them or like they're pursuing you and you want them to in some type of way, it is forcing them to sort of shed old skin and notice what they've done, what they've been through, who they are, what they're about, who they need to become in order for them to be sort of worthy of you or whatever that dynamic is there. There's a couple stories coming up from that. With the Ace of Cups, why they're obsessed with you is because you've shown them purity. Like you've shown them genuineness and that's addicting okay like hello okay they've tasted the true waters this is like you showed them kindness just for kindness you showed them love just for love like you showed them it just because and that's kind of like whoa, 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 what record scratch what like how how are people just showing love and acceptance and kindness and understanding and genuineness and even just like even if you were honest with them in a way that you that maybe hurt their feelings they're still like oh wow like there's an honesty that the purity here that this person has that there's no like agenda like this person is like a person a real person there's something so beautiful and pure and glorious about being shown true goodness and humanity and like it's just it's not love and light just that like it's not just like the bastardization of love and light, right? Like what it's sort of become. It's this sort of this genuineness, authenticness. Like you've shown them authenticness. Because maybe you did say some things to them that were not the best thing that they want to hear. But there's something about that delivery and it's unattached. Like it's authentic, it's unattached. And there's something that's so uh, uh, about that that is just like obsessive. Like I want that. Right, like they want some of that in them and they want you for it. Like you're the symbol for that. They want to drink from your cup. They want what you got. And then we have the sun. Listen, okay, the sun is the sun. No matter where you are in the world, baby, you're gonna see the sun. Okay. If there if you are in a basement and that basement has a crack, the sun finna seep in. The light is gonna come through. The sun is the sun is the sun. Today, tomorrow, next year, last year, two decades ago, three centuries ago, three centuries forward, the sun is the sun is the sun. I think this is also that authenticity, actually. Ra, right? Like, this is just someone who's there. You shine, you glow. Even if you may not be the happiest person, there's just something about that authenticity that makes you incredibly attractive. You cannot ignore the sun. You are unignorable to this person. And that's why they're so obsessed with you. Like, I think you also shone light, right? This stream of light into their world and sort of jolted them out. I do believe this person, you came at a time in their life when they were hoping, praying, of, like manifesting somebody to take them away from whatever was going on or to move them through. And you came in and they're like, this has to be a soulmate. This has to be someone who is mine. They're mine. Like, they just feel so right for me they're mine and therefore that led to this just crazy obsession that they have with you 
Six of Cups. Yup. You take them to a... Oh, King of Coins. Mm, you're stable. Or you're perceived as stable. Okay, eight Page of Cups. <laughs> you will hold. <laughs> what? Listen. Six of Cups, King of Coins, Page of Cups. You... <laughs> I'm not saying you're hard to get, but you're just genuine. Like, you're different from what they're used to. Like, you're not trying to impress them. And you have, like, a like your purity isn't naivety. And even if it is naivety, it's an innocence that's, like, stunning. It's like, I want that. I want to protect that. I want it to be mine. Like, they're just, they're just such an allure to you. It's, and this, again, this page of cups is really, like, you may have said things that they don't like or like that a normal person would be like damn that's cold but it's like you said it in such a way or the fact that you even said it with maybe like some kindness or some mercy like the energy with which you speak is like real shit like it's 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 without at least to them or certain things that you express to them maybe not all the time okay but you express yourself with such genuineness, even if, even if it's you talking about yourself or you being realistic about yourself. Like I think if you look at your flaws, and own them and claim them and speak on them, in a way that isn't emotionally charged or uncomfortable. And there's something about that that is incredibly alluring. It's like this person is saying something that would be perceived as not so great about themselves or their life experience. But the energy with which they say it is so enamoring. Like, whoa, this is usually something that someone would think is a bad thing or they would be ashamed or whatever. But this person is standing in that truth that is not, you know, is kind of like negative or whatever. But it's it, it's even so much more alluring because you're just standing in that truth. Like, it's, oh my God, I love it. King of Coins, there's a certain stability and responsibility and aura of like, high standing that you have you may not have it but they definitely perceive you as having it or you do have it maybe you work in an institution that gives money and or you have a lot of money or they're perceived like that trajectory would have money or there's some type of like stability in how you hold your body like some strength in how you hold your body and like your stature and your your mindset like how you think and how you're moving like you're a go-getter or you're just like well versed in something like this king of coins is very powerful love that for you six of cups is you remind them of a simpler time like that soulmate energy did i fucking say that listen if you're new welcome to the luminaire excuse me welcome to the illumination and the house of lumiere because spirit lives in the house of lumiere spirit lives in the illumination I was talking about soulmates with the sun, the soul, the sun. Six of Cups is notoriously known as the soulmates card. This person is obsessed with you because they just believe that you are their soulmate. You've taken them out of this um, quiet hermit energy and shown them a new kind of world. The moon in reverse, the five. Oh, wait a minute. This is the, wait, is this a nine? What the fuck is this? Hold on. Sorry, my bad. This is the Nine of Cups. But Spirit still lives in the house. Spirit still lives in the house of Lumiere because the Six of Cups came out <laughs> at the top of the deck. Okay. Brr. It did come out in the reverse. So I don't know how you feel about this person. I don't know how connected you are to this person. But this person does feel that there is a soul connection between the two of you. And you are a wish fulfilled. I was talking about the manifestation. Them, manifest them manifesting you. So Spirit still be out here in the house of Lumiere with the Nine of Cups as the wish fulfilled that they've had in their heart and their soul of meeting somebody like you and that's what also like fuels their obsession because it's like this person is mine they were made for me um with these two in the reverse the moon and the six of cups there's there's something here that's a bit of a mismatch i'm not sure how you're feeling about this energy um with them it could also be like maybe their past like their past has been mismatched or whatever but um i think there's still also some energies that need to be more balanced with that moon in reverse from them because this kind of obsession is it can be okay but there's something about it with the moon showing up in the reverse that i think could kind of be amended as well and the six of cups showing up in the reverse could be um i mean it could really be good it really depends on like what the story is for you to be honest but they're obsessed and either way with the six of cups it could be an imbalance for the people who are not wanting this person or even with the person that you do want an imbalance and just like the reality of their emotional state but then also 
a certain level of maturity, right? Like, so this person may have a level of like a maturity that they want with you with that six of cups where they want a future with you. They don't want childlike things with you. They want like a future with you. It's an obsession that's them thinking like you are their person. They want a future with you, kids, family, if that's what like they're into um and that's what they want and with the moon they're kind of like it, it doesn't matter like this is the person that i want like it's still very obsessive but there's also just an energy here of like it could be a little bit more healthy <laughs> okay it could be a little bit more healthy even if you want this person or not like there's a touch of there's a salt based sprinkle of mm, balance could be needed here um, but that's why they're obsessed with you. That's why they're obsessed with you. Like, you have touched this person or your energy has touched this person or their being has been touched in a way that it's been touched. Listen, good luck with this. Let me know how this goes. Keep your light on. Good luck. Bye-bye. See you next time.